welcome. I'm Cosette and today's um, sequence will be focusing on sun salutations. Um, the sun salutation is um, often considered a warm-up for you know, the rest of your um, physical movement practice, uh, but we'll actually break the sun salutation down and progress through them slowly and uh, do some mobility stuff at the beginning so we actually are warming up for the warm-up. Um, so let's just start standing. Okay, standing with feet about hip width distance apart, um, closer to the back of your mat. With feet parallel, just grab the corners of them. Arms can be relaxed at your sides, easy stance. Eyes open or closed. bringing yourself into more stillness. Can you sense your breath moving? The breath is constant. Simply inhale and exhale through your nose. And breathe through your nose so that you can warm and slow down the air. Spending a few more cycles here. Set a steady pace for yourself. Now opening eyes. We'll isolate different parts of the body, different joints, starting with your neck. So take your chin towards your chest. Okay, while keeping your shoulders facing forward, turn your chin towards your right shoulder as much as you can. Then begin to lift the chin, leaning your head back. We'll turn the head to the left, taking your chin towards your left shoulder. Then bring it down to your chest. And with control, again, turn your head to the right. Leading with your chin, bring it up. Take your chin slowly towards the left shoulder, then down to the chest. Switching directions, turn your chin to the left. Try not to rotate the torso. Bring your chin up with control, leaning your head back. Go across to the right shoulder, down to the chest. And very slowly, once more, turn your chin to the left, bring it up across to the right shoulder, no rush, down to the chest. Look forward and spring awareness now into the shoulder blades. So arms uh, forward, make a V so they're a little wider than your shoulders. Palms could face center. Maintain this energy through your arms, same thing, being jazz hands, and then locate the shoulder blades on your upper back. Okay, let's Elevate the shoulder blades, okay, lifting and shrugging maybe the shoulders towards the ears. Now retract shoulder blades in towards each other. Depress them down away from the ears, then protract them apart, reaching beyond, beyond fingertips. Again, elevate shoulder blades up, then retract them in, depress them down, and protract apart. To reverse, retract the shoulder blades in towards center, elevate up, protract apart, depress down. Once more, retract in, shoulder blades elevate up, protract apart, and depress down. And lower the arms. Okay, for the wrists, uh, let's bend the elbows about 90 degrees. Keep your upper arm glued to your side body so we can really isolate the wrist and not move the arms so much. The palms will still face up. Keep your hand uh, flat and turn your hands in towards center. And now we're going to point fingertips down, bringing wrists into extension. Then rotate fingers away from center and then up towards the ceiling. Turn into center, 
down to the floor, out away from center and up. Then we'll reverse, hands move out away from center, down to the floor, in towards each other, up to the ceiling. One more time, out away from center, down, in, and up into more flexion. Good, hands flat, rest your arms. You can give hands a light shake if you'd like. Okay. Uh, we'll move into the shoulder board. Okay, really checking in with your shoulder mobility. Um, as we do this, um, avoid turning the torso or the hips with your arm. Um, the torso will want to turn. Uh, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Okay, to help us keep the hips and you know, shoulders, torso facing forward, set right foot ahead of the left foot a bit. You can still have a hip width distance side to side. Now, keeping uh, arms at your side body, palms facing yourself. Reach right arm forward, and then up as high as you can. Allow the shoulder to lift and move with your arm. Okay, at the top, turn your palm away from you. Then start to move your arm back, as far back as you can without turning the torso. Okay, then you're gonna continue this with the arm going down to your side, and your palm is facing away from you. Reverse by taking your right arm back, then up, palm turns in at the top, then take the right arm forward and down. Okay, we'll try that again. Right arm reaches forward with control, up to the ceiling, turn your palm away from you, so you're actually gonna internally rotate in the arm. Reach your right arm far back without turning the chest. Keep your palm facing away from you as your arm lands down by your side. Okay, reversing, right arm goes back and up. At the top, turn your hand into center. Then continue the circle, reaching your right arm forward and down. All right, other side. Set left foot a little in front of the right. Um, so hopefully this helps lock your, your pelvis and spine in place. Arms at your sides. Reach left arm forward. Then up, let the shoulder shrug. Turn your palm out away from center at the top. Then reach your left arm as far back as you can without turning the chest. It wants to turn left. Keep that left arm moving down so it goes to your side body. Your palm is still facing away from you. Now reverse, left arm reaches back. Start to bring it up and at the top, your hand, your palm turns in. Then reach left arm forward and down. Okay, this is your shoulder mobility. We'll work within your range, again with control, send left arm forward and up. At the top, your hand turns out away from center, internal rotation through the arm. Reach your arm as far back as you can. Keep moving it back and then down to your side. Palm is still facing away from the body. Reverse, reaching left arm back. Just make as wide of a circle as you can. At the top, your hand turns in and continue with left arm going forward and down. Cool. Let's uh, line up the feet again. Just keep them hip width. Focusing more on the mid spine, the thoracic spine. Uh, the spine is able to flex forward. It can extend, which is like a back bend. It can bend side to side as well as rotate, of course. So we'll go through all of those um, planes, all those positions. So cross arms in front of you. You might hold your shoulders, give yourself a hug. Try to start in a more you know, neutral kind of position, maintaining the curves of your spine. Okay, let's uh, move into flexion now. So just lightly rounding the upper back forward. Okay, try not to turn the pelvis as you turn your chest to the right. Rotate right as much as you can. Then side bend to the right, so your left side will open up. For extension or a little back bend, lift through the chest, 
Keep lifting through the chest, rotate to the left. Try not to turn the pelvis here. Okay, bend to the left, then flex forward. Okay, so those are all the, the actions. We're gonna rotate to the right, bend to the right. Extend up, lift behind your spine, up through the heart. Rotate left, side bend left, and flex forward. Okay, we'll go the other direction a couple times. Keep pushing through the feet, rooting. Rotate left, side bend left. Extending up, lift behind your spine. Rotate right at the top, bend right flex forward. Just moving your spine, mid-spine through these ranges. One more time, rotate left. Side bend left. Extending up through center. Rotate right. Side bend right. And flex forward gently. Okay, back to neutral. Arms can relax. Okay, so um, we'll get into the hips a little more. Uh, but let's bring our focus down to the feet and ankles. Uh, we'll work on our dorsiflexion, um, which is when you're moving the, the top of your foot towards your shin um, to get to the front of the mat. So you'll feel uh, stuff on the front shin and, and ankles um, activating. Okay, so simply step right foot forward. Okay, and then keeping your legs straight, lift your right toes, activating the top of the foot. Now begin to pull the top of your right foot up towards your shin, keeping right heel on the mat. Keep pulling the top of your foot towards your shin. This is your active dorsiflexion. Slowly lower the right foot. Okay, really simple, left foot steps forward. Raise your toes first. Then try to pull your toes on the top of your left foot towards your shin. Activating the front leg muscles, front ankle step. Slowly lower your left foot. Again, right foot forward. Raise your toes first. Then pull the toes and the top of your foot towards your shin. Maybe a little closer this time. Lower the foot. Left foot forward. Raise your toes. Then toes and top of the foot towards your shin. And we need this ankle flexion for many postures and for walking, for moving in general. Lower left foot down. Okay, now let's have the feet together or hip width apart, parallel to each other. And setting up mountain pose. Relax your toes, anchor the corners of your feet. Bring some energy into your arms. Perhaps the palms spin forward. Mm. Energetically grow taller. Mm. Use just enough effort to stay tall. Take another full breath through the nose. Okay, on your next cycle, circle your arms overhead. Let's fold forward, hinging at the hips. Bend your knees on your way down. Okay, pause here, keep breathing. Weight more in the fronts of the feet so the legs are stronger, heels do not leave the ground. Keep weight forward and maybe the knees bent for a halfway lift. You can push palms against shins, actively lengthen your back, elongate the torso, chest away from hips. Fold again, hands and head down. Another halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And tabletop next, hands and knees down. As so you can consider this our first weight bearing pose today. Stack the joints so arms and thighs are vertical. Keep fingers spread apart. You want to cover space with the hands and distribute more weight into your base knuckles and fingertips. Okay, moving into cow, lift your tailbone, lower the belly. For cat, round your back. Look at your belly button. Okay, take cow again, moving the pelvis and spine together. Cat rounding or flexing the back. Okay, two more cycles on your own. Creating waves through your spine. Can you sense which parts of the spine feel 
more mobile. Maybe they're all pretty similar. Okay, one more cycle. Okay, now coming to a more neutral spine next. Okay, let's take melting heart or puppy dog pose. So hips stay over knees, walk your hands forward. So keep your hands at least shoulder width apart, lowering the head gently, maybe it touches the mat, it doesn't have to. Let's stay very active in this version, pressing your hands down, lengthening arms, hug front ribs up and in, rather than letting the chest sink to the floor. Okay, this should stabilize your upper back better. Low belly toned. Mm. Okay, breathing and just allowing the chest and shoulders to stretch while maintaining strength. You want to bring this same sense of engagement into downward facing dog when we get there. And we also know that this is an alternative to downward facing dog. One more breath. Mm. Begin to lift your head, return to tabletop, hands crawl back, restack your joints, and tuck the toes under now. You keep your hands pressing into the mat, shoulder blades kind of broaden apart, and float your knees a few inches off the ground. Okay, look ahead of fingertips, softly lower knees to the mat. Let's repeat that, knees float a few inches, so strength rises from the ground to your center. Lower the knees. One more time, knees hover, push through hands and toes. Take another breath here. Downward facing dog, raise the hips. Okay, hands and feet could stay where they are, but if you need to widen or lengthen your base, make those adjustments. Hands are pushing forward, encouraging length through the upper back and through the upper body and arms. Knees might bend. And can you create a, a better balance of weight between your upper and lower body? Front ribs hug in like melting heart. Another moment to settle into your downward facing dog. On your next breath, rise up high on your toes. Bending knees, take many steps forward, place feet between your hands. Halfway lift. Fold, knees could bend, and rise to standing. Embrace the, the belly a bit, hands to heart. So let's slowly progress through our sun salutations. Circle arms above your head, take up space. Fold forward, leaning with your chest. Halfway lift. High plank, plant your palms, stepping back. Let's hold plank, breathing through it. Arms are straight. Shoulder blades kind of wrap around you, stabilizing the shoulders. Okay, the full version of plank is with straight legs, thighs firm. If you need the supported version with less load, simply lower your knees and they could be behind hips. Okay, can you hold your plank? Two more breaths. For downward facing dog, push the hands forward, chest back, hips high. Hmm. Another lengthening inhale, grounding exhale. Rise up high on your toes, bend knees, step or walk to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold, come up to standing, grounding down to rise, arms overhead. Hands to your heart. Okay. Our next progression of sun salutation. Arms overhead, reach to the ceiling. Fold forward, hinging at the hips. Halfway lift. Plank, 
pose. So all together, let's take a supported plank. Remember, remember that's with knees down. Knees behind hips, toes could stay tucked to resemble more of a full plank. Keep your core intact. Look and lean forward with the chest. In slow motion, we'll lower a few inches. Take a mini push-up. Straighten your arms, pressing the ground away from you. Again, in slow motion, take a baby push-up. You're lowering a few inches. Can you control this movement? Straighten the arms. Okay, one more time, baby push-up, lowering just a bit. Elbows bend back. Straighten the arms. Downward facing dog. Hmm. Always remember there are options with each posture. You could always dial them up, dial them down. You do what you can as well as you can. On your next breath, come up high on your toes. Bend the knees. Step or walk forward. Halfway lift. And fold. Rise to standing. Rooting down feet and meet with hands at your hearts. Okay, right, on to our next progression. Arms circled up, grow taller. Folding forward, knees can bend. Half lift. High plank, plant your palms and step back. So on toes, maybe on knees. Um, let's Pull the palms and toes towards each other. Keep pulling, create more tension, more control. And as you pull, lean forward. Lower yourself all the way down. Elbows graze your sides. Moving as one piece. Then untuck the toes. Okay, real quick here, keeping the front of your hips level on your mat. Raise right leg from the thigh to the toes. You just make your right leg longer than the left, energetically reach it back, then release. Raising left leg, toes reach back, back of the thighs strong, lower down. Okay, keep the feet heavy now on your mat, hands light, low cobra. Okay, this is a small back bend, lifting the chest. Can you sense your back engaging? Release down. Hands still light. Take another low cobra. Maybe not a big back bend here. Release down. One more time through your low cobra. Breathe here. Okay, let's hold this one. Hover hands off your mat. Keep hands hovering if you can. Just move them back a little so they're under your elbows. Are the hands still hovering? Backs and shoulders strong. Now place your hands on the mat. Stay here or for more of a back bend. Go to high cobra. Pressing into hands, lift the chest high. You could do upward facing dog with thighs floating. Downward facing dog, raise hips. Mm -hmm. Taking another moment here. I'm taking a lot of time today to wake up more muscles through the body, to prepare the shoulders for our full push up. On your next breath, come up high on the toes. Bend knees, step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Rise up to stand. Arms reach above you, hands to heart. Okay, sun salutation. Arms reach up. Fold forward. Take your time, halfway lift. High plank, planting palms set back. Okay, so on toes, maybe knees. You look and lean forward as one piece. 
next option to lower a few inches, maybe halfway or all the way for a push-up. Upward facing dog follows to downward facing dog. Take as many breaths as you need to move, no hurry. Another cycle here. Keep a sense of lift under the forearm, through the center of the palm. Rise up high on the toes. Bend knees. Step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Fold. And rise up to stand. Hands to heart center. We'll take one more sun salute. Arms reaching high, they're an extension of the body. Fold forward, slowly down. Halfway lift. High plank. Your choice on toes or knees for less load. Lean forward. Take your version of a push-up. That might be lowering just a bit or halfway, maybe all the way. Upward facing dog or cobra follows. Then downward facing dog. Mm. Be sure to let all the breath out. Take another cycle or two. Keep a sense of buoyancy here. Remain active. Mm. Now just lower your knees. Big toes together for child's pose. Knees could be wide or touching. Rest your head down. Arms forward or back. If you need a pillow for your head, you could always stack hands. Slow rhythmic breath through the nose. Soften your belly. A little easier here. Feel free to stay in child's pose as long as you'd like. Maybe you could begin to raise your head, sit up slowly. Okay, that's it for our uh, breakdown, our progression of the sun salute, uh, warming up for the warm up, so you're really prepared for the more dynamic postures like push ups um, and even, even plank pose. Um, I hope this is helpful to your practice and just keep moving. Thank you.